Wow, what a crazy day yesterday. Here's where we're at with all the crazy mystery stuff with huge drones flying around New Jersey. First, I'm gonna show you, this is a clip from Assemblyman Brian Bergen at a briefing just yesterday, Wednesday. Frustrating part. The Colonel of the State Police said that he had a helicopter of his flying over above one of these drones, a six foot drone or something, I can't remember exactly what he said. And he just, he felt unsafe for his helicopter, so he just let it go. <laughs> just let it go. Now, where'd it go? Who knows? You know, didn't want to follow it because you didn't feel safe. That is that not the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Now, this clip that was followed up by New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew stating this. Iran launched a mothership probably about a month ago that contains these drones. That mothership is off. The, I'm going to tell you the deal. It's off the East Coast of the United States of America. Then you got the Pentagon's response. There is not any truth to that. And additionally, we also had U.S. Representative Chris Smith tell reporters to take action after being told a U.S. Coast Guard vessel was followed by several drones off the coast, off the Atlantic Ocean uh, over this past weekend as well. You just can't make this stuff up. It was a crazy, crazy day yesterday trying to keep up with all the information. Now, I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more crazy reports, probably even today, to the point where it's almost too difficult to keep up with all the reporting, because I'm not doing this full time myself. Now, with that being said, I put together this video that I'm going to show you in a moment the other day before all this other news information was being reported. And perhaps this can help mitigate some of the false reporting that may be going on as well meaning I think that some people may be reporting normal aircraft like planes, helicopters, and off-the-shelf drones. So what I'm trying to do here is just put some tools into your hands and help you identify what's international airspace. Here's that video that I never got a chance to post yesterday. Hope it's helpful. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. Regarding the drone issue here in Jersey. Again, I live in central Jersey myself done a couple videos on this already, but what I'm trying to do in this video is give you some tools to help identify what these dro drones are, right? What the what these things in the skies are. And if we can eliminate a couple of possibilities, I think we can get to the bottom of this a lot sooner. People are posting the videos and that's great. Let's give ourselves some tools to help identify what these are and what these aren't. And there's two great tools out there. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is one called Flight Radar. So I got that here on my phone now. And this is a free tool you can download. Both of these are gonna be free apps you can download to your phone, but it's gonna help you kind of, at least if you're seeing these in the sky regularly, because I'm not seeing them here where I am. Again, I'm in Central Jersey, but I haven't seen any of these. But if this is something that you're in a position to download these apps and they're flying over your house on a regular basis, which some of, a lot of people in the comments that I'm reading are reporting these are regular sightings, they're seeing them all the time. So this should be pretty easy to do. In the left-hand corner, there's a AR up there, right? Little AR uh, symbol letters. Just click on that. It's gonna say loading, please wait. Now I'm indoors, I'm actually downstairs, but if you're outdoors and you just hold your phone up and start moving it around, it's going to start loading any flight radar data in your area. And down at the bottom right hand corner, there's actually uh, where you can increase or decrease the radius. So as I move the bar up and increase the radius, I begin seeing more and more flights show up on my phone. And as I move my phone around, it's actually going to give you a little pointer at the top and indicate the the plane and give some identifying information. So if you've got some sort of uh, legal flight out there, it's gonna show up on this tool. At least we can eliminate, you know, that these aren't uh, some sort of legal flights, right? We can just take that right off the, cause I think I, what, I, what I'm seeing from the videos is, I think they're, they're not all of them, but some of them are being misidentified as actual aircraft. And at night, it's often hard to tell the difference how far out you are. So you can go on to any one of those once you see the little icons and click on it and it's gonna give you more information about that flight. This one I clicked on is going from Washington to JFK Newark Airport. Actually gives me the depart time, gives me the arriving time, gives me its altitude, its speed, everything. And again, I'm seeing the schedule, I'm seeing you know, what time it's departing, what time it's arriving from the two airports, actual time, 
And like I said, there's more information as I scroll up regarding registration information, barometer altitude, all this stuff. But bottom line is what I'm getting at, if I close that, um, what I'm getting at is if you're seeing these things outside, pull up this app, minimize the radius down at the bottom. So you're only looking at your immediate area. And if what you're seeing is right in front of you, you just point your phone at it and it's going to identify exactly what it is. If it's if it's using AD, I think it's called ADSB. And real quick, this is future me here. I'm just want to quickly jump in and mention that Flight Radar 24 can also track aircraft that doesn't have ADSB capabilities like older aircraft. Uh, they use something called MLAT multilateration as well as radar they collect radar data data as well now i'll leave a link down below to that video if you want to get more detail on how it collects all the information back to the video if it's using flight data that's being broadcast you're going to see it and that's going to at least eliminate possibility a right it's a legal flight it should be in the airspace it's it's no mystery right so that's the first tool so i just again give me giving you a tool let's close that out all right let's say it doesn't show up on there right so it's not a legal flight right it's nothing that we know about in our airspace, right? Air traffic control doesn't know what it is. The other tool that you can log on to is one called Drone Scanner. Now, Drone Scanner is going to be specific to drones like these and even bigger that have remote ID modules on them, right? Not every drone. This one's an older drone, so it doesn't have what's called remote ID built into it. But there are separate modules that people should be purchasing if they're flying at night that get installed into the drone itself should be on the drone broadcasting information and for example this drone is on right now but i don't see when i pull the drone scanner up i don't see this drone broadcasting any information so there's no remote id but based on the size of the drones that are being reported in our airspace right the stuff that i'm seeing online and i think from what i've seen people are starting to use their doorbell cameras right their the door cams pointing them up at the sky and starting to film stuff that way. But again, if you go outside, load that app, and there's anything around that's broadcasting a remote ID from a drone, you're going to see it here in the drone scanner app. Again, both of these are free to download. It takes two seconds. If the apps are on your phone and you pull the first one up, nothing, pull the second one up, nothing, that eliminates a whole lot of things right there. You've, you've just eliminated uh, a whole lot of possibilities. And whatever is in the, in the sky at that point, is 100% flying illegally or is military related and they're not broadcasting it because they're running in some kind of stealth mode. That would be, you know, the, the next option. But again, the whole reason for this video is Flight, Scan Flight Radar 24 app, Drone Scanner app, free to download to your phones. I think at this point, a lot of, you know, as civilians, we got to take some of this in our own hands and stop or at least eliminate some of the misreporting if we can. And that way, like, I know if I personally saw somebody like myself upload a video and they said, hey, I went on to this tool and I didn't see anything in the sky. I went on to this tool, I didn't, th didn't see anything in the sky. To me, that eliminates a whole lot of possibilities right there. That's really what I'm trying to do. Put some of the ability to eliminate what the, these things may or may not be into our hands because... It could take that much longer for, you know, the FAA and the FBI to come to any kind of, you know, findings on this. And depending on where they're set up, they're not set up at the right place at the right time. They, you know, they've got whatever equipment that they've got. I'm sure they've got more advanced, you know, uh, spectrum sensing systems that can pick up, you know, what's in our airspace than, than what we've got. But if they're not set up, all over the place, which obviously they can't be. But from the comments and the users I'm seeing, there's a lot of people out there that are seeing these things all the time. So let's put some of these tools in our own hands and see if we can, you know, get to the bottom of what's going on. Again, I've not seen them, so I can't really give a, you know, a statement on what I think they are. I've done two previous videos on it. You know, as of today, December 11th, uh, I've seen, you know, hearings and um, the White House comment on this stuff. And nobody nobody knows anything as of, you know, December 11th. There's no information out there, no new information. So let's try to take some of this, put it in, our, put it in you know, our hands and see if we can eliminate what this may or may not be to help get to the bottom of it sooner. That's all I got for this video. 
not scripted, not edited. This You're just going to get this raw upload, uh, upload the video footage from my iPhone as well. Download these two apps. They only take a second and perhaps may, may help a few of us out, right? May help get to the bottom of this a lot sooner. That's it. I'll see you in the next video. I'm sure there'll be more to come. Take care.